Um, someone will know. Hang on. Um, let me ask Emma for sure. So you'll be pleased to know that the baton has arrived safely. Who would have known? And in the background, the winner of the junior and senior Manx Grand Prix is making his way to be part of this baton celebration. And of course, this is Michael Evans, the winner of the Manx Junior and Senior Grand Prix this year. In his leathers, crowds gathering because this is a momentous moment. So here we go. Lots of movement here as we get the best shot with the trike and the winning bike. Michael Evans, winner of the junior and senior Grand Prix this year. There's no engine because it was stripped after um, after the race to be to be measured. And they just leave with a pile of bits after that. <laughs> Somebody hadn't got a pair of scissors, have they? A pair of scissors or a pen knife, anybody? Yeah. I've got that little one. If you could, they, I thought, if they change, they, because they put the little stuff next to just talk on the on the grandstand here there's no engine in this bike because uh, as soon as the race is finished the engine is stripped from the bike uh, and checked so hence we're not able to ride it this morning Still lots of people following this baton on its journey around the island. As you can see, getting photos where they can with the baton. <laughs> the advice, don't drop it. Lovely. <laughs> Michael Evans, winner of the Grand Prix, junior and senior race, I am informed. All the chance to uh, sit on the winning bike. That's what, what an honour, what a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. So that's that. The uh, handover of the Queen's baton. From Trike, Ramsey to Douglas, to the grandstand, 
where we then meet the winner of the Grand Prix, Michael Evans, at the uh, grandstand. Okay, next stop for the Queen's Basin is the Isle of Man Hospice. So stay tuned for more coverage of the Baton very soon. <laughs> <laughs>